good everyone and welcome back to Napoleon Total War 3 um, we're back here we defeated the Austrians last time but they're still around they do still have two provinces um, that we need to take care of before they're completely done but they're more or less done all their armies are destroyed uh, more or less except this one right here um, I think you know what when I think about it I think I mostly went through everything last time around so threats we have is the Austrians right here the Russians right here the Ottomans down here and then we had another English invasion coming ashore here now unfortunately I'm gonna have to do it this way um, I wish I could get these retreat these guys but I cannot so we're gonna have to delete them and we're gonna see about burning all of it I can unfortunately not fight that battle I tried so many times out resolving it crashed giving the town it crashed crash crash so uh, now we're gonna just try to have let them take it um, so yeah let's go ahead and end turn because I have no more moves and we'll see what the enemy does well see what the enemy does I've seen it up to the point of the English I know the Austrians will gather up their forces so it will make it a lot easier for me to destroy them and the dest will destroy the main force I should say um, and then the British will actually land two armies they will, will land one um, th well they've already landed the one in Hanover but they will land one and attack corn uh, yes we will actually give this up because I don't want it to crash we're gonna land there um, we're not gonna surrender it but we're gonna out resolve it because um, well, I could do uh, that but we might as well just send in the large army to break them to destroy that force they send across the Brits are sending across a lot of uh, forces here. I like the fact that they actually are sending forces across. Um, I, I, there's not a lot of times that I can recall that has happened in vanilla. Oh, the Russians are closing in really fast on the um, on Budapest. I wonder what kind of force they have and who's in command. Oh, we have a duel there, but the Bavarian guy had to run away in shame because he failed at the duel same time the Turks are now moving up we've got one force over there are they gonna attack okay so they send up that smaller force to huh interesting strategy by the Turks let's go ahead and out to save and then we'll fight it Mehmed Sali in Mursel Husrev. The Battle of the Balkans, 1806. The enemy usually doesn't have a chance in these river crossings, but the the enemy is clever. The reinforcement army might just come on our side of the river. Who knows? Last time around, I think. Oh. The um, we forgot to enable all of these things again. Ah, oh, yes, because it crashed so many times last time around. Let's go ahead and put always on all of these. Da da da, boom. Um, and then the map, right? Um, we're gonna defend the crossing because usually they come across there. But we're not entirely sure. They might come somewhere else. Who knows? Just because they're bringing in a reinforcement army. So, there we go. Let's start it off. We'll see. The enemy reinforcements turn up from behind here. So, not really super clever by the enemy to slowly trickle in their troops. Uh, let's see let's move up our soldiers we're gonna move up, move up the the special troops uh, well not special special but 
their uh, the special name troops on either side of the cannons and then in reserve we'll have the fusiliers general in the back he can actually stay on the hill good vantage point and then the cavalry will move to possibly cross the bridge and attack the enemy from the side we've got loads of uh, lancer cavalry over here not moving though so that's good And the enemy unit is hiding. Let's go ahead and hold fire just as our men walk past so we don't blow them away. Okay, so since we're firing, they're trying to fire upon them, but they would have to, the shot has, ha has to go over the hill and far away, so that's not going to happen. Let's speed it up and see as these troops advance. What I can do is I can actually have the reinforcements or the reserves stationed behind the main line. And then the voltageers behind here. General on the hill overlooking the situation. The enemy cavalry is moving forwards. But they're stopping in these forests. And now more of these troops are coming in. Uh, cavalry is moving in to possibly cross. Time to open up with the battery. And blow them to hell. Fire! We took three of them. I don't think... Are they going to cross? I mean, that's a lot. That's a lot of cavalry. About 300 of them. We're going to have to switch to canister to see about getting as many of these bastards as possible. That was interesting. It became... I don't know if you saw that, but it, everything became blue. We're going to tell these guys to not fire in the back of their friends but we're gonna be we're gonna have to be very careful there to make sure that if it's needed we need to uh, reselect the fire option so I'm not entirely sure what the enemy the their plan is if it's just to sort of waste our shots or something I'm not sure the enemy is bringing up their artillery station it kind of weirdly everything together there on the hill let's see if we can have our cavalry moving through and possibly they could go ahead and uh, attack and take out those guns our canister and the gunfire from the lines are breaking up at least this one the other one hasn't suffered as much. Infantry is slowly making their way up. But the Ottoman units are quite l la the large units, aren't they? 286. Keep at it. I want to break the enemy's artillery and hopefully then they will be more forceful in their attacks. Let's go ahead and see what the cavalry is up to. Oh, they're slowly, they're having problem just getting over the bridge. <laughs> they're crossing one, and one by one. That's going to take quite a while to get all of these guys over. 
A hundred and thirty-eight men, and they're gonna cross. There we go. Now they're now they're crossing. And uh, most of the Ottoman army seems to be committed now to moving towards the river crossing, which means that my cavalry should be open to move on the enemy artillery, and we can move through here, cover by the forest. Um, should be able to reach the enemy without losing too much. The Ottomans have opened fire from their side of the river. But they're coming under a heavy fire from both sides. So they're getting these flank fire plus the canister that's going down through the center. I'm not entirely sure what they're sending up here. Another larger unit. 366 men in that unit. So there's a lot of Ottomans moving in. The cavalry is now across. I want them to spread out and I want them to move towards the enemy cannons. The Ottomans are making their way across. We've got three units here slowly making their way across fired upon by multiple units plus canister the horsemen are trying as well not going too well the general is surveying the uh, the battle we're gonna barrage it and we're gonna inspire the cannon crew to lay down as much canister as possible the gunfire is not really enough for the the fire from the infantry is not really enough to break all of these Ottomans and they're able to make it across I think one more canister and we'll start to see them break yes leaving one unit Ah, uh, that one unit is breaking as well and the Ottomans are forced to fall back across the river. Possibly they're gearing up for another attack. They are shelling us with the cannon shot. I'm not entirely sure where they are landing though and what they are firing at. They were at some point firing towards... They're firing towards here. Because we can s clearly see the recently fired uh, shot. But they possibly know that we are here and they're firing for the cavalry. But it doesn't seem as though they are hitting. I want to go a bit closer. Maybe we're at the edge here when we reach the road. I'll tell them to to charge at the enemy. The Ottomans try, there's sort of uh, some crowd control mess right here where the Ottomans are stuck trying to uh, run away from the fight. What's this kind of, what, this is some kind of, hmm, unit attack guerrilla unit can deploy anywhere. Well, that's stupid that they came in then as they set this army up to come up as uh, reinforcement if they have guerrilla units in among their troops. Ah, the cavalry has now been hit by the enemy cannons. Time to speed up. We'll see if they, we have time to uh, go ahead and fire off a shot as we reach the cannons. They're still over firing the uh, horsemen. We don't know if there's a might be a unit up there protecting the cannons. Looks like it's only the enemy general, him and his bodyguard. The cannons have all fired. We're riding up. They are preparing to fire. And just as the Ottoman general fire uh, comes in, 
We fires and draw the sword and charge in. At the same time, the Ottomans aren't really making any headway trying to get across. The cavalry is suffering quite badly from morale loss. Let's see if you can get the general. But the cavalry won't really withstand the Ottoman cavalry on their own. The enemy general is killed. And the, this op uh, opens up opportunities for us. This guy does not seem to want to come into cannon's aid or the general's aid for that matter. Means that we can come in from the back. We're gonna hit this unit. This unit is almost four, 400 men strong. 366 men. Okay, for, before they react, let's charge. Before they are able to turn. That one will break. Continue on into the next one. Charge for France, men! Charge! What kind of unit is this? Was this the one, the guerrilla unit? Now this is something else. They tried to make it across. But they failed. We've run into some more units here. I'm not sure the cavalry will be able to hold against this fight. I'm hoping they might be able to break down these guys. No, it doesn't look like it. We're gonna have to retreat. Sound the recall! We're gonna divert the men by charging in a different direction. The Ottomans are still pushing up even though they're being attacked from behind and they're not really mustering that I mean they've got a big cavalry unit which could easily destroy my cavalry but yet they chose not to use them we're gonna move away our cavalry our running, I was about to I was just about to say before they run away but they did run away just there the thing is I I could move across my men but I think in the long run I would only lose men so we're gonna sit on our side and continue to fire I think we're gonna move this one up because we might get we're getting a bit of flank fire there so we're gonna move um, the 48th to uh, fire across from there let's go ahead and uh, select another barrage and let's inspire them. I don't think we're gonna... Once this unit breaks, I think I can just move across my men. So we will prepare. Moving across already. Yeah, they're breaking. We're gonna give them as much fire as possible before we start to send our men up. Yes, there we go. Cannons will now hold their fire. The vault gears will move up just to the edge. And then these units will all move across the cavalry. Why don't you move up and shoot these guys down? I think it's time to switch to round shot and then try to target the enemy cavalry unit. We're gonna wait until this one passed though. I uh, just noticed <laughs> that we might just shoot the, in, these guys in the back. So there we go. Now you can open fire. Hopefully they will be able to shoot above the men. And not in the back of them. Go on, fire then. 
Oh, our troops are gonna meet out there. Looks like we got some melee coming along. Charge across. The Ottomans don't even have bayonets, so I'm not entirely sure why they're even trying to defend this point. Oh, now the cavalry comes in. But I think it's too little too late. Their army is broken. And we are victorious. Gonna go ahead and save this one. Kaboom and back to the map, the strategic map and let's See what's going on. It looks like the way to um, Hanover was lost. Army destroyed. Yes, enemy raid. Enemy raid. Recruitment report, construction report, agent detected, intellectual advance. Army destroyed. And Siller is gained. We've got the army. And I can now land it somewhere. But first we're going to have this navy. Go ahead and... Aha! We've got an enemy navy there. And we're going to block them. And then we're going to land our troops we're gonna land our troops. Okay, we're not gonna be able to land them precisely where we want, but we're gonna land them next to the harbor there. And then the, n the navy is gonna get back together. So the army is now landed and they should make their way towards Athens. We don't know exactly what's there. Um, hopefully. There isn't a major force waiting for us there. We're gonna need something to the, just chase these guys down. At the same time, this army is gonna have to deal with some of these bastards. So, um, I think we can auto-resolve this. Should be quite easy. Let's auto-save because we have, we have had some problems with the auto-resolve before. Uh, victory lost 800 men and apparently it became enough for a heroic victory the battle of Aspen Esseling we pushed these Austrians back opens up for Napoleon too late to come down and defeat this one the Russian army we're gonna have to it would be nice to take them on on the bridge but at the same time those battles are kind of drawn out and boring so maybe not after all the ottomans are in disarray which means that davor can advance on belgrade will out to save here as well and then we'll see boom we are victorious and the region falls to us. Gonna repair. And we do no longer need the agent over here. Instead, he can make his way down through the countryside to see. We got another army coming in here. Davil will hopefully be able to hold this on his own. This navy needs to be pushed out. And uh, some stuff that was raided need to be repaired. The reinforcement troops need to keep going. And we got more of these reinforcements coming up. 
to march up to Napoleon. And well, these these guys were the ones that were supposed to march forward, yes. So they will march forward. And then we've got the um, Belgian army. Which will push forward. These guys will follow with this army. And then the Belgian army will move forward. These guys added on. So they will be ready to take on the British and take this back. And then we're going to have to figure out something to defend the towns along here. I think we're probably going to have to st stage the Belgian army in Normandy. Rather having it back in Brussels or in Paris. Just to protect against enemy attacks like that. Uh, they not recruit troops anywhere else. No, the British hold Hanover. We're gonna have to figure out how to retake that somehow. Uh, possibly when we go against the German states. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. What else is there? Ah yes, I did complete. What did I complete? A uh, technology. So, Granz is on fire. Heidelberg. Sarajevo it's, is the new one, but that's actually occupied by the Ottomans. So, we can't do anything there. And then, researching currently trade unions. We probably need to focus more on military stuff. General staff. Conscription, conscriptive infantry tactic metric system is needed for this. Local guides. Modern rifles. Upkeep for skirmishing units. The Great Paris Cipher. A secret communication. Plus command on land. I guess conscription tactics would be next. Or if I would go for abolish slavery. Or the semaphore lines. Line of sight will increase. But that's 19 turns until that becomes available. I could see about trading. Maybe with my allies. Do you have any technology I need? No. Um, the Dutch then. No. My newly acquired allies, the Danish. Do you have any technology? General staff. How about general staff versus national census, Denmark? How about that? An even trade. No? Uh, I'll pay for it then. How much do you think he would um, be willing to par? Uh, we'll start off. With a modest 10,000 franc. How about that? No, he does not agree to that. We're going to increase it slightly then. To 15,000. Versus general staff. Regret? Okay. Um... The thing is, general staff. Wait, what did general staff do? How important is general staff? General staff gives me movement range, which is good. But how good is it? Uh, da, 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 technology, general staff. I'm gonna offer payment of 20,000 francs. Little Denmark, how about that? Oh, you still don't want to go for it? Fine. What other allies do I have that I'm possible? Bavaria, what do you have? Do you have any technologies? Nope. Um, the Italians. Do you have anything? Let's see, where am, where am I looking? Technology, nope. Um, the other Italians. No, the Swiss Confederation. No. Did I ask the Spanish? I think I did. 
How about the Germans? The Germans got field ambulance, land drainage and abolish slavery. Abolish slavery would be nice. And in return, I would give them naval stuff. Diamond formation is very early thing, so how about that? Regrettably, he doesn't uh, think that's okay. Right. Um, but looking at the time here, I think I'm going to go ahead and end it right here. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.